Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I am so excited right now. Here we have the special edition Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch. We've got one week to go before the release of the game, so I'm gearing up here. So I want to unbox this, I want to look at the case that I've gotten for it, and also some cases that I recommend in particular. So let's get into this thing! You guys, this is the unit that I've been waiting for since the release of the Switch. I've been saying since the release of the Switch that I've been wanting an Animal Crossing Edition unit. So let's just go ahead, open it up. And immediately we are greeted with the console and also with these Joy-Con here. These minty type controllers. Let's get them out and take a look at them real quick. We're gonna adjust for the exposure because these are quite bright. So the color here is kind of an in-between of a neon and a pastel. It's really, really quite nice. And then when you flip these over, you've got this cream color here. It's kind of a, a beige, really. Almost a very light sand color. So this is unique. We haven't seen yet controllers like this. I don't know why they haven't done this in the past. These look really, really nice. Let's go ahead and get that console out. Now, I know a lot of people have been kind of sore that Nintendo doesn't release colored backings. They just like to stick with this gray motif here on the back, but it makes sense because when you have all these Joy-Con colors, you can't go wrong with just having gray with gray with gray. So I think it's actually a good decision. So look at that. Go ahead and get real close there, letting the light reflect off of it. So you can see all these different island themes here. I'm assuming this is just so that you can choose what type of island that you would like, what fits you in particular, and also some seasons. Look at that, there's a little snowman there. We've also got a little message in a bottle here. This is really quite charming. We've got some pine trees, here's a tent, birdhouse. You can make out from silhouette who some of these characters are as well. This is just too cute. So I am definitely not upset with the look of that. If you guys do want something that's colored or themed in a certain way, definitely go to Colorware or go to Controller Chaos. Either one, but Colorware, they really have you covered. This is this is not sponsored, by the way. This is just a shell that I have from one of my switches that I had colored before. It's really easy to switch out the back plates. So if that is what you guys are wanting in a pastel, check out Colorware. They can do that for you. I'll link them down below. You can see that they do a pretty legit job here with the logo that they've painted on. It's stenciled painted. Let's go ahead and put these on. Make sure it's got that nice reassuring click. Oh yeah. So this is what it looks like from the front. And here we have it on the back. This is definitely my favorite so far. Now taking a bit of a closer look at these controllers versus the neon red and blue ones we've got here, these feel a little bit more matte finish. This can kind of give you an idea of just how bright these truly are. But yeah, these feel great. Let's get to the last part, which is the dock. That's usually the part that I don't really care so much about. It's like, oh, another dock, oh boy. I think this is one of the defining features of this Animal Crossing edition, that it's actually themed. And flipping it over, ah. Now that's got pretty much the same texture at least with paint as what's on the back here. It's a little bit rougher because this dock has a bit of a texture to it. Is this colored throughout? Yes, so it's colored on the inside, except for we've got the usual black plastic down in there. Definitely cute. And there we have the same color for the green island. So that lets you know that this represents the greenery on the island and this represents the water and then the sand, so that really all comes together. Or sky, in this case. And in Japan, it looks like they're selling this separately. It looks like they're also selling the Joy-Con separately in Japan. I don't know if that's gonna happen here, but you can also buy the box, this box here in Japan as well. Now, as far as how limited of a run this is, I'm hoping we see these guys restocked, but in Japan, we're also seeing that this isn't really a limited edition. They're gonna have this restocked so that people can purchase it Maybe indefinitely, I'm not sure. But at least here stateside right now, this is quite hard to find. And lastly, we've got these Joy-Con straps. And these have that sand color as well, but we've got these cute little lanyards here. 
and you can see that they are in the respective colors of each Joy-Con. Or you can switch things up if you want. Green with blue and blue with green. These, they're adorable, absolutely. They should have themed this. They missed out on this. How could I? I didn't look at the rest of the box. What's adorable here, you can see that this is even themed. This is so nice. This is one of these things you kind of just want to display. For the last little obligatory maneuver, let's go ahead and stick it in the dock. And there you go. That is perfect, adorable, cute, definitely my favorite so far. Let's take a look at the case offering. So we've got here the New Horizons Aloha Edition. Now they also make this for the Switch Lite if you don't want to miss out on that. Ooh, that's a very vibrant green. I'm flipping it over. Oh, didn't expect that. Interesting. I think I would have preferred if it was this color all throughout, but this is definitely not as bright. See Nintendo Switch insignia there. It looks like it's two different colors here along the zipper bit. So we've got the green and the blue, same as the Joy-Cons. On the inside here, it's very simple. Looks like we've got this bit to act as a stand. You can hold five game cartridges. Here's a little spot to put other bits in, headphones if you'd like. And this also comes with a screen protector. Okay, so that's nice. Let's grab our switch here, set it down. See that it just folds up like so. And it's it's a decent protective case. It's got enough thickness to where you don't see any bulges. When the Mario Odyssey edition of the Switch came out, it included a case like this as well. And it bent a little bit because it was so slim. So this actually is quite accommodating for the actual size. I wish this would be the front. I can see that's not how it's supposed to be. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's, it's definitely not my favorite. I've got some more legit cases here. This is not sponsored. I absolutely love Waterfield and I want to recommend them to you. This is where it's at, people. sfbags.com, Waterfield Designs, made in San Francisco. This is really high quality stuff. So this is a waxed canvas. This is the Switch pouch or pouch for Switch. Now this is more understated to cover up your very loud and proud Switch here. But I'm betting that if you're walking around with a neon switch or this Animal Crossing one, you don't really care to be understated. But still, this doesn't look juvenile. I love this. Pocket here to fit all kinds of stuff in games. This, this is nice and soft lined on the inside so that your screen doesn't get all scratched up. Love this. And if you do want something that's more fun, this is what I would recommend. This is their slip case. You can see that it's got a magnetic open and close, which I think is really neat, like so. So they make this for the Switch Lite and they also make it for the standard size Switch. It'd be really cool if they released a neon type fabric to go with the Animal Crossing design, but otherwise this blue one goes really well. The red one's also really nice. They've got a slate if you want something that's more understated. They've got a wax canvas. So yeah, this is where it's at. This is not a hard case by any means, but still I've been finding these nice and cushioned and protective. Slim and doesn't take a lot of room in my bag. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And this guy here, though the initial thought was cute, I think it's it's probably gonna go back. It's, it's just, this is weird. The switch is meant to sit here. It sits closed like this. This is upside down. This should be the front. You can't install it right here because this is in the way. This is, this is a disaster of a case. Anywho. So the Animal Crossing New Horizons themed Switch, 100%, 10 out of 10, would recommend. This is adorable. If you can find one, hopefully they'll stock these. I really don't have any complaints here and really not anything that I would change either. I'm very happy with the back being just this way so that any Joy-Con pairing will match with it just fine and I don't have to worry about colors clashing. So let me know what you guys think. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing. I want to talk a lot more about gaming. That is where I am right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day, you guys. Bye!